Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on this channel. As somebody who has traversed and I guess continues to traverse the rocky terrains of androgenetic alopecia, I can understand the urgency to find a growth stimulant that works on the hair follicles. The hair thinning, the receding hairline, and the gradual changes in appearance can be a daunting experience for anyone. But this message is going to be aimed at people who are at the earlier stages of androgenetic alopecia, so the earlier Norwoods, I'm talking like Norwood 1 to Norwood maybe 3, and people who don't have any severe thinning across the scalp. So I'm going to say this. I firmly believe that starting with oral finasteride 1 milligram or oral dutasteride 0.5 milligram could be the ideal first step for most people, rather than diving straight into topical minoxidil and also oral minoxidil, and here's why. Minoxidil, though hailed as one of the front runners in the fight against any type of hair loss, it isn't a silver bullet. First of all, its efficacy varies significantly among users, and I'm talking about both topical and even oral minoxidil, believe it or not. And that's primarily due to the genetic expression of sulfur transferase enzymes in your scalp skin, and also how much your liver can produce if you're taking oral minoxidil. Now granted, more people will react and get a better response with oral minoxidil, but the side effects of oral minoxidil are not dose dependent and is also based on the genetics of the user. So whether or not you will get side effects to oral minoxidil, first it partially relies on dosage, but also more so on the genetic characteristics of the person that's using it. But yeah, again, its efficacy varies significantly among users. With oral or topical minoxidil, some may witness remarkable results, others will have mild results, and then you have people where there are no changes whatsoever. On the other hand, with finasteride and dutasteride, we're targeting the root cause of androgenetic alopecia, and this is dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. By inhibiting the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which many of you know, is responsible for converting testosterone into DHT, these drugs significantly reduce scalp and serum DHT levels. DHT is known to miniaturize the hair follicles in genetically susceptible individuals, and by mitigating its effects and its existence in the scalp, these medications provide a direct assault against androgenetic alopecia's root cause. So circling back to minoxidil, minoxidil doesn't target the root cause of your male pattern baldness or your female pattern baldness or your, we'll just say androgenetic alopecia to be all inclusive. Whereas a topical anti-androgen or a 5AR inhibitor does. So when you're adding all of these things into your hair loss stack, I think it's important to add things gradually to see what works. And because we want to target the root cause first, I think it would make sense to start with finasteride or dutasteride. And doing this for about a year or a year and a half would give you the proper gauge to judge whether or not you need a growth stimulant. And again, I'm mainly directing this message to people who have noticed some slight thinning and who are in the earlier stages of androgenetic alopecia. Again, Norwood 1, 2, Norwood 3. Because let's assume you make fantastic progress just using finasteride or especially 0.5 milligram dutasteride. In my opinion, you don't have to bother yourself with using minoxidil. Although I say you can imagine using topicals as like brushing your teeth, you have to admit just popping a pill is way more easy and convenient than putting a topical liquid on your scalp twice a day or mostly what most people do once a day. So realistically, it's a sort of normalization of your hair loss stack and your hair loss process where you use as little as possible to see how much benefit you get. But the foundation of any male hair loss stack has to be a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. Can't get away with that. So at the bare minimum, 1 milligram oral finasteride every day, or 0.5 milligram up to 2.5 milligram of oral dutasteride, which you could do every day, but because of its long half-life of about 5 weeks or so, that's not really needed. Some people just do it twice a week. Some people do it three times a week. I've seen some people get excellent results by just taking dutasteride once a week. In my case, I take it twice a week while using oral finasteride five days out of the week. So again, if you're at the earlier stages, Norwood 1 to Norwood 3 maybe, and you don't have any severe drastic miniaturization across your scalp, I think this would be a preferable first step. And really, it's the bare minimum that you can do, and you don't have to think about it too much. So in conclusion, while every individual's journey with androgenetic alopecia is unique, and what works for one might work for another, starting with a systemic approach through finasteride or dutasteride might just be the most logical first step. And it's nice to have a sort of normalized, a standardized hair loss stack so you can be more consistent with it. 
knowing what works and knowing what isn't working for you makes a difference. And as always, remember to consult with your doctor or dermatologist or any sort of medical specialist. That should be your first move when making decisions, along with getting blood work to see if you really have androgenetic alopecia or some sort of rare, but it does happen, sort of hyperprolactinemia or severe nutrient deficiencies. Again, those latter two are very rare, but it is possible. So if you got this far into this video, comment in the comment section, spider bite. I'm gonna put an image of this spider, but last night I got bit by this spider and I put it on my community page so you guys can go check it out depending on what time you see this video. But yeah, it was really weird. So comment in the comment section, spider bite, so I know you got this far into this video. A pretty short video, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.